Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I am going to show you how to use Loom. Loom is a great uh, piece of software for Mac, Windows, and iOS that lets you create interactive videos very quickly um, on your computer or on your iOS device. You can show your face in it if you want, uh, but it's, it's a really fantastic piece of easy to use software. And I'm highlighting it because uh, due to the response of COVID-19, they cut their prices, removed limits on certain uh, plans, and are giving Loom Pro away to anybody who has a .edu email address. Uh, so basically anybody, I should say anybody who works in K-12 university or educational institutions who are using Loom for classroom work. So let's jump to this demo. I am, this is a little bit meta. I'm using ScreenFlow to record the screen. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to use Loom. So hopefully it doesn't get too dicey. Uh, so for that, I am going to just bring up uh, one of my keynote presentations. Um, you know, I think a good use case for this is probably uh, showing your presentation on the screen while uh, your head is in the bottom corner so you can potentially give a lecture uh, using Loom. So I've already installed Loom. It is an application that sits in your menu bar. There's an icon here. It looks like a little shutter. When you click on that, uh, it updates a whole lot, so we'll just X that out. You can choose if you want to share your screen and a camera, your screen only or camera only, and then it places what the camera sees down in the bottom left-hand corner here. So it's using uh, the wrong camera for me right now, so let me turn on the right camera. And uh, there's probably going to be a little bit of like a weird audio delay um, because... Again, I'm using ScreenFlow to record the screen, but then I'm showing you how to use Loom. Uh, so I also want to make sure I'm using the right microphone, which is not the iMac built-in microphone. It's the universal audio. Uh, and then you can also choose um, in the unlimited plan how you want to record. I'm going to choose 4K HD video. So I'm going to start recording. Loom is now recording. Hopefully nothing crashes or goes crazy here since I'm recording both. Uh, it'll give you a little bit of a countdown so you know when you can start talking. Uh, so what you can do here is there's a little, uh, you know, stop recording some tools over here in the left hand side that only you'd be able to see as the presenter. That's why I'm not just recording it with Loom. I want you to actually see what's going on on my screen. Uh, so if I hit play here. Uh, you could see the presentation comes up. My face is in the bottom left corner and I can go through this talk if I want to. Now, if I want to highlight something, I can grab the mouse. It's going to be hard to see since I've got keynote full screen uh, here. That's probably some other mechanic that you might want to work out. Um, so actually, let me get out of here. So, um, a good a good tip for if you're kind of trying to screen share keynote uh it doesn't really play nicely with screen sharing and stuff like that convert it to a pdf that's going to work a little bit better but for the purposes of this video i can just kind of show you the features so if i mouse over the stop recording button you'll see i could pause i could trash and then there's this pen icon here so i can actually annotate the screen as i'm talking this would work super well if you have like a, a Wacom tablet or um, like a like an Apple Pencil that you might be able to use as a pointing device in conjunction with the iPad. But uh, this is super cool. So uh, these will get recorded. They're temporary. Um, so they'll go away shortly after you make the markings. But that's a cool feature of Loom too. Once you are done recording, you can press the stop recording button. And then it's going to get uploaded automatically to Loom, which is super cool. You don't have to worry about sending it to YouTube or anything like that, worrying about hosting the video yourself, which is great. 
uh, and then you can watch the video here. So I will link this video that I just created with Loom in the show notes, uh, or in the show notes, in the description for this video down below, which is, um, so you can kind of see the final product. And now if I sign in to Loom, so once we're logged in, we can see the videos that we created. We can, once it's done processing, you'll be able to download it. So if you do want to place it in your LMS or into a, a YouTube channel or a Vimeo channel where you are putting videos for your students, uh, you can definitely do that as well. Uh, if we view this video, you can get a tutorial of, of how it works. You can edit your text so you can name the lecture. You can also uh, invite people. You can add a password, right? So if you're worried about um, sensitive information or uh, stuff that you only want available to your students, you can add the password here. It will also show you how many times the video has been viewed and how many unique views there are. So if you know you've shared this with your class of 25 and only four people watched it, you'll know most people aren't watching the videos. But Loom is a super, super cool tool. Uh, I wanted to highlight it because I'm a big fan of it. I've been using it um, outside the classroom for my students and uh, for people I've been coaching or my clients to create videos for them to show them how to do specific things. Uh, so the fact that they've made Pro available for anybody uh, who is using it for the classroom is great. I think it'll really enhance your ability to create lectures easily. Uh, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you've learned something new. Uh, there will be links in the description below to Loom and to the video that we created in this video so you can see the final product. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe to get more great content. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, get out there and build something.